Hello friends and welcome to the tutorial on getting started with files. At the end of the tutorial, you will be able to open a file, read the contents of the file line by line, read the entire content of file at once, append the lines of a file to the list, then close the file. Before beginning this tutorial, we would suggest you to complete the tutorial on getting started with lists and getting started with 4. So now open the terminal and start IPython. So type IPython space and hyphen pylab. Let us first open the file pendulum.txt. Present in slash home slash posse slash. So type f is equal to open in within brackets single quotes slash home slash posse slash pendulum text. Okay. Here f is called a file object. Let us type f on the terminal to see what it is. So type f and hit enter. The file object shows the file path and mode of the file which is open. R stands for read only mode and W stands for write mode. As you can see this file is open in read only mode. We shall learn to read the whole file into a single variable. We use the read method to read all the contents of the file into the variable pen. So type pen is equal to f dot read closing brackets and hit enter. Now let us see what pen contains by typing print space pen. We can see that pen has all the data of the file. Type just pen to see more explicitly what it contains. So now pause the video and try out the following exercise and resume the video. Split the variable into a list. Name pen underscore list of the lines in the file. So we use the function split lines to solve this problem. So type pen underscore list is equal to pen dot split lines and closing brackets. And hit enter. Now let us learn to read the file line by line. But before that we will have to close the file since the file has already been read till the end. Let us close the file open into f. So type f dot close in closing brackets and hit enter. Again type f on the prompt to see what it contains. Notice that it now says the file has been closed. It is a good programming practice to close any file objects that we have opened after the job is done. Let us now move on to reading files line by line. Pause the video here and try out the following exercise and resume the video. Reopen the file pendulum.txt with f as the file object. We just use the up arrow until we reach the open command and issue it again. When it reaches that command, hit enter. Now read the file name line by line. We iterate over the file object line by line using the for command. Let us iterate over the file line wise and print each of the lines. So for that type in command for space line space in space f colon print line line is a variable sometimes called the loop variable and it is not a keyword we could have used any other variable name but line seems meaningful enough 
instead of just printing the lines let us append them to a list line underscore list we first initialize an empty list line underscore list so for that type line underscore list is equal to square brackets and hit enter let us then read the file name line by line and then append each of the lines to the list we could as usual close the file using f.close and reopen it but this time let's leave alone the file object f and directly open the file within the for statement this will save us the trouble of closing the file each time we open it so type for line in open and within brackets in single quotes slash home slash fossey slash pendulum dot txt then colon then line underscore list dot append within brackets line hit enter let us see what line underscore list contains now so type line underscore list and hit enter notice that line list is a list of lines in the file along with the new line characters if you notice the pen underscore list did not contain the new line characters because the string pen was split on the new line characters we can strip out the li new line characters from the lines by using some string methods which we shall look into further tutorial on strings so now this brings us to the end of this tutorial and let's revise what we have learned open and close files using the open and close functions the second one read the data in the files as a whole by using the read function the third one read the data in the file line by line by iterating iterating over the file object using the for loop and finally append the lines of a file to a list using append function within the for loop and here are some self assessment questions for you the first one the open function returns a string list file object or functions the second question is what does the function split lines do it will display the data as strings all in a line displays the data line by line as a strings displays the data line by line but not as strings so now let's look at the answers for the first one the function open returns a file object the function split lines displays the data line by line as strings so we hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and found it very useful thank you